Penny, I know we've only known each other for a little while, and I know this is crazy, but... Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Will you take this leap with me? Of course I will. This is gonna be a perfect marriage of adrenaline and danger. Now let's base jump, shall we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. All right. You ready? Yeah. Yeah? One, One two, three! Do I'm gonna take the stairs! Oh, God, Penny. What is the matter with you? You are so pathetic. It's like, what are you so scared of? Take a risk for once in your life! <laughs> How did she manage to fall around the landing? Oh, guys, 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 you know that I love a penny pylon as much as the next slug, oh, but damn right. that was a massive fall, and we shall thank our lucky stars that Penny made it out of there unscathed. Agreed. Thank Amen. God. Uh, friendos, I did not make it out unscathed. I'm extremely scathed. Uh, oh, no! no! Oh, I'm oh, sorry, but are you still? Falling? <laughs> okay, laugh it up. like a slinky oh, with breasts. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, not cool. I died for two minutes in the ambulance. What? <laughs> Yellow, you got Penny. Hey, Doc. What? No, who told you I was in Bolivia? Dennis, best friend, coming in hot with a refill. Okay, I'm gonna call you back. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, Max. That was my travel agent. Just thinking about taking kind of a post-cast trip for when I'm ready to get back out there, but I don't know where to go. Where should I go? You, you have any ideas of good countries that are, say, I don't know, in South America? No. Why are you using a travel agent? The only travel agent you need is a time travel agent. Take you back to a time when people still use travel agents. Yes! Max, keep it cool, but you're jazzed. Bolivia. What do you know about Bolivia? Mm, I heard it's beautiful. In fact, Lonely Planet calls it the house that Raul Julia built, and I'm caught. I can't believe you've been holding me hostage in my own body cast. You're miserying me. I'm sorry that I'm miserying you. It's just I'm so hard crushing on Kent right now. Oh, well, your precious Kent is in for a crude awakening when I tell him what a horrible person you are. You're right. I done you dirty. I done done you dirty, girl, and I am sorry. What do you say? You get back into bed. Grab another sip on the old tea. We'll call the doctor and maybe we get this thing taken off in the morning, okay? Okay. But I have to say, I am really tired. Tired. I'm so tired. This tired, tired. Oh. You sleepy teed me. Mm hmm. Sleepington's nature's lullaby. I guess now Kent will have to do all those stretches that he was supposed to do on you, on me. But even four bags shouldn't make me this tired. Mmm, Lunesta. Nature's ambient. You're a monster. Ooh, there's Kent. Fluff out the chesties. What? Call me and, uh, and tell Penny I say hey. Yeah. Tell her yourself. Halloween blows. Drink. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, hold on, guys. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so stupid, girl? <laughs> You're so dumb. You and Zoe have this. Now get up with it. Now go up quick, up quick, up quick. Uh, 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 drink, drink, uh, drink. Uh, uh, drink. Uh, uh, well, big news out of this corner. These two are gonna meet with a real estate agent and look at apartments today. Stop, before you start, just stop right in your tracks. <laughs> we know what you're thinking, okay? That we're moving too fast, but we can't go backwards, we just can't. Yeah, Jane, you're probably like, <sighs> bad idea, I'm gonna do my Kegel exercises. And Penny, you're probably mm -hmm. like, OMG, this is so not amazing. <gasps> yeah, and Max is all like, you guys are so stupid and so <laughs> not fair. <laughs> And then Brad, he's like, oh, hell no. You two whites are moving in together? Job ass turkeys. I don't even sound like that. This thing's filled with 40 pounds of nerds. Still can't get that mother open. Good night!
What? No! I think I've got it. We do a whisk away. But instead of whisking Alex to Paris, we whisk Paris to Alex. <laughs> We can set up your courtyard like a Parisian bistro. I can even make fake plane tickets and wear a stewardess outfit. That sounds amazing, but why would you wear a stewardess outfit? Well, either that or I'm gonna need to change. Oh, she's a sexy stewardess, and I'm the melancholy frequent flyer whose entire life can fit in an overhead compartment. Uh. Should have called ahead. I did call ahead, and apparently it did not make a difference. Wow, this is amazing. I know. I know. The only thing missing is Alex. She should have been here by now. Well, maybe your store was really busy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine it really busy. Just try. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> no. Oh, good times. Mm. Seriously, though, where the hell is she? I mean, I sent that invitation to her store hours ago. This is the invite? Yeah. A fake plane ticket for Love Airlines? Yeah. Check out where she's sitting. Your cockpit. She's your sister. But well done. Fine, Jane, I'll admit it. Taking your car would have made more sense. We had to stop for gas twice. Hey, you can't park that here. Keep it. No, no you're going to have to move it. Come on, man, it's for love. I don't care. Come on, man, please. I'm warning you. All right, fine. You know what? I'll move it. I'll move it. Fake out! <laughs> Let him make the first move, then react. Fist bumps are a dance, man, a dance. Hey, Maxim Mills, how's it going? How's it going, D-Rose? What's up, almost Mrs. D-Rose? Ha ha ha, good one, Brody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> your hands are turkey. Well, too bad it's Thanksgiving! <laughs> mm. Thanksgiving, huh? What's Thanksgiving without the mashed potatoes? Sorry, Brody. Max is just a little sensitive about handshake stuff because someone did the whole down low too slow thing to him when he was a kid. I had no idea. Sorry, Brosif. No hard feelings, right? All right. Squid away. <laughs> Squid away. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll kill you! Max! Hello? This is not a foursome. You guys are totally fifth wheeling me. Come on, man. We're not fifth wheeling you, Joey Fatone. Yeah, you're still part of the group, Sporty Spice. You're our favorite character, Ross, from Frasier. Watch it. Uh -oh. Okay, scooch, guys. Scooch. Man on scooch. There's scooch. a man coming through. Seriously, Max. Idiot. You're the Rossiest. <laughs> Give me the list. Oh, I'm sorry. Huh? Let's go. Quite a looker. Not much of a cooker, Ben. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Max's faults as of November 8th, 2001. One, meatball sub consumption is bordering on a medical issue. Two, once during sex, I heard him whisper, This is not what I want. It was a whisper, but it felt like a shout. And you know, a summer birthday really matches my easy breezy vibe. Easy breezy vibe? I thought you had more of a dead of winter girl with a dragon tattoo, SARS guard murder house vibe. Yes. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy birthday, Jane. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> Surprise! Yeah! Oh, Jimmy, I did it! Oh, I got it in my pants! It's on my pants! What are you guys doing here? We're postponing Christmas so we can celebrate your birthday on your actual birthday! We thought it would make you happy! <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know what? My bad, guys. <laughs> this one's on me. I mean, I guess it would be wrong to open presents without Jane, right? But Penny can open her gift from Pete. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble, right? No, I can wait. Just open the gift, Penny. 